Hey everyone, and welcome back. For the past two years, I've been developing this boxing game. It's primarily a skill-based game, so the focus is for the player to develop enough technique to defeat all opponents in three championships. I've also implemented some additional achievements for all you completionists out there. It's my first game, and after a long journey and a lot of work, it's finally time to wrap up this project and put it on Steam. Before I start this video, I just want to thank everyone who's been with me on this ride. I truly could not have done it without your support. And I'd also like to sincerely thank Milanote. It's the application I've been using to organize this project. They've consistently been a sponsor of the channel through wet and dry, making a huge contribution to me being able to actually work on this game full time. So let's hear it one last time for Milanote. It's been an absolute pleasure using their software for this project from gathering reference images, making programming charts, writing down notes, and saving ideas for my project. It's been such a huge help to keep this project organized from start to finish, and they have a ton of templates to get you started so you don't waste any time. Please show those guys some love for being such huge supporters of this channel. Give me a Lenota shot for your next project. You can start completely for free using the link below. I mean, you really have nothing to lose. Come on, guys, just get started. And now, please enjoy probably the final devlog for Punch a Bunch. <laughs> With only a few weeks remaining before launch, it's time to finish up all the things I've procrastinated doing until now. The Steam page looks awful, I need to make some more music, a lot of bugs that need fixing, uh, and I still haven't created the final boss for the game yet. To name a few, there's a lot more to do than that, trust me. But to start off, I want to see if there's anything I can do to improve the graphics a little bit. It just looks a little bit flat and uninspired right now. So to make things a bit more dynamic, I created a rig with spotlights that track the boxers as they move around the ring. So with that and a couple of other tweaks, it's looking something like this. I think this helps to keep focus on where the action is, and I also added these moving lights that sporadically sweep across the boxing ring to make you feel like you're in a big stadium or something like that. I think that looks pretty nice. I've also programmed the crowds to cheer when you land heavy punches or there's a lot of action going on. I think it really makes a huge difference in the energy of the game. Everything just feels so much more connected now, so it was well worth the trouble, I'd say. I've done my best to optimize the game to the best of my ability. I used to have this problem when I was playing the game for more than a couple of minutes where my computer would get ready to launch into space. But I managed to fix that problem by simply limiting the amount of frames you could render per second. I, I guess 300 frames per second is not necessary if you think about it. Anyway, so I included some settings in the options where you can lock the frame rates to fit your specs and your monitor. I really do think we should do something about the Steam page. Uh, you know, it's getting close to release and people are starting to wishlist the game. So yeah, this is quite embarrassing. <laughs> I set it up in a rush last year with some quite terrible throwaway art just to get something up so that I could start gathering wishlists for the game. Anyway, so I always meant to improve it. I just never did. Oops. Now, I'm not very good at drawing, so instead I took some screen grabs in the game and I'm hoping we can put this together into something usable. And after spending a few hours in Photoshop and upgrading the logo to match the style of the game a bit better, I feel like we're not too bad. I mean, it could probably be better, yes, but if I put them next to each other like this, I think I'm feeling pretty good about the new one. If you think there's anything that needs improving on the Steam page, please do let me know. I would love to improve it as much as possible, so any ideas are welcome here. But it's not a proper Steam page until we also have a trailer, so I spent some time putting one together. Thankfully, I'm used to doing a lot of editing, so it didn't take me too long. I uploaded it here on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, but a lot of you felt that it was a little bit too fast and just not very informative. So I put a new edit together, I put it out on Twitter and on the Steam page, and you guys seem to like it a lot more, so I think this, we'll have to call this one the official one. It's not on YouTube because I didn't want to spam you guys here, but I'll put it up in a couple of weeks. I made pretty good progress on the music in the last episode, but I still need a few more songs and I also decided to scrap a few songs that didn't really fit the style of the game. I'm still very green when it comes to making music, but I ended up with a few new songs that I think fit the game a little better this time. Here's a little taste.
I will release a full soundtrack here on YouTube so that you can listen to all the songs, but I'm expecting to sneak a few more songs in after I release the game, so I just want to wait with uploading it until I've completed the whole thing. I also created these little animations for the interface, so when you take a hit, the interface wiggles a little bit, which I think is pretty cool. And as you build up adrenaline, these flames start appearing. I added a match timer and created thumbnail pictures for each of the bosses. Unfortunately, I don't have a good way of recreating what the player looks like since you can combine any items you want, so I settled for a more backlit generic picture for the player. If anybody has a good idea of how I could solve this, uh, that'd be awesome. Everything is coming together pretty quickly, and at some point I even thought I would finish ahead of schedule. I had originally planned to release the game in December, but then I got sucked into a rabbit hole of completing the interface. Currently, the menu doesn't really support a gamepad, meaning you have to navigate with the mouse, which is really annoying. I'll spare you the details, but I ended up spending over a month just fiddling around with this, making everything work with both a mouse and a gamepad. I, eh, I'm surprised how absolutely awful the menu system in Unreal Engine is out of the box, considering how important it is for a game. Well, it's finally working pretty well now. Uh, there are still cases where it's a little bit buggy, but nothing too major, I don't think. Something to keep in mind that I'm definitely more aware of for my next project is to keep interface to a minimum. I wouldn't be surprised if I've spent over 50% of all the time working on Punch a Bunch just building menus and stuff like that. It seems like a quick thing to do, but just keeping track of unlocked items, equipping them, which achievements you've unlocked and all this stuff, it becomes very complicated very quickly, trust me. But it's done now and I do think it makes the game feel more complete, so I'm happy I did it, but for my next game, no menus. Another big thing before I'm able to release the game is to get the Steam integration working. So I spent some time making some achievements and making sure cloud saves and all that good stuff is working as well. I mean, I say this like it was easy. The Steam integration is, yeah, let's not talk about that. With all of this, I'm unfortunately blowing past my deadline of December. I was really hoping to publish this game in 2022, but I'd rather push the game just a little and make sure it's not totally broken. Although that doesn't seem to be stopping other people from publishing. It's now the beginning of January. I managed to take a couple of days off over Christmas and New Year's. I hope you all had a great holiday. The game is pretty much done and technically I could probably release early January, but I have to edit this devlog and I also have a few other things going on. Our dog Ziggy is pretty old and basically becoming blind. She's got cataracts in both eyes, so we're taking her to a specialist to have eye surgery to hopefully have it fixed. Apparently, it's not a guarantee that it will go well, so we're really just hoping for the best. I'm also about to become a Canadian citizen. As you know, I'm Swedish, but I live in Canada, so I have to take a test proving that I know who the Prime Minister is. So uh, I've had to set aside some time to studying for this as well. So there's been quite a lot of stuff in January. Unfortunately, everything just got crunched together in one month. So it's been a little stressful. I was able to get Punch a Bunch up and running on the Steam Deck, which is really exciting. And for all you Mac and Linux people out there, I will look into publishing the game on both those platforms. I just want to get through launch and iron out any major issues before I do. Having to manage three versions of the game all by myself right at launch it just seems a little daunting. And for those of you who struggle with the controls of the game, I did in the end add an assist option that will help you punch. There's no shame in playing with the assist on, it's not at all cheating, but I do encourage you all to try the regular controls as the game is far more interesting that way. 
This last push through January has just mainly been fixing things. I've got a long list of old bugs I'm going through and I know there's going to be issues on launch, there's just no way of avoiding that, but I'm doing my best to make it as playable as possible with hopefully minimal trouble. So nothing too exciting to report, but I have submitted a build for approval to Steam, so I'm waiting to hear back. Hopefully they don't have too many notes for me. It's a strange feeling to be so close to releasing this game. I've uh, worked on it so long now that it seems a bit unreal to let this project out in the wild. Things are coming together great though, and I only have a couple of small things left before the game is ready, so I'm feeling overall pretty good. I also heard back from Steam, and they seem happy with my game, so I'm very happy about that. And you might be wondering, hey, what happened to the final boss? Well, I actually did manage to create and finish the final boss in secret, I just didn't tell you. I wanted to keep the final boss of the game a surprise and a reward for those of you who want to finish the game. It would be such a shame to spoil the ending in a video. But I can tell you that I'm very happy with the result and I think you guys will be too. I received an overwhelming amount of suggestions for what you guys think should be the final boss in an earlier episode and after reading through literally thousands of comments I think most of you will find the ending quite satisfying, let's just say. It's been so inspiring to read your comments throughout this adventure and this game really wouldn't be the same if it weren't for you guys. There are so many ideas implemented in this game that came directly from your comments so I just want to say a huge thanks to all of you for your contribution. I could not have made this game without you. I really mean that. Alright, tomorrow's the big day. I think, I think everything is ready. The build is up on Steam. Uh, it's approved and it's ready to go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping there are no unexpected surprises. I've never done this before, so but I I think it should be good. So hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. A bit surreal, I gotta say. Very very unusual event, put it that way. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun, and you guys better buy the game, okay? <laughs> oh damn. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Ah, damn it. By the time you're watching this, unless something went horribly wrong, you can head over to Steam and pick up your copy of Punch a Bunch. I've put a 20% launch discount so you don't have to wait for it to sit in your wishlist and wait for a sale. So give old Ponty some love and feed some algorithm juice to Steam and buy my game, baby, please. And don't forget to leave me a really good review if you know what I mean. And if you don't like the game, also, don't forget to leave me a really good review if you know what I mean. But be warned. Punch a Bunch can be a pretty difficult game. Part of the fun is to learn the controls and going through the struggle of finding your groove in the game. Now, I won't discourage you from picking up a copy if you'd like to support me, even if you think it's not your type of game, but please do read through the Steam page first, just so you know what you're getting yourself into. So, what's next? Hmm. Good question. It's quite strange to think that this game is done. Making a game from start to finish has been quite the adventure. So much has changed in these couple of years. I quit my job, we moved to this island, and I learned how to make a game. I mean, it's been completely life-changing, honestly. I'm super happy Punch a Bunch is completed, of course, but also a bit sad. Then again, I'm really excited to start thinking about my next project, and I will of course keep making YouTube videos and documenting whatever comes next. I hope you'll come along for the next adventure. This might be a dangerous question, but um, what kind of game do you think I should make next? <laughs>